Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. A close to traverse is conducted with five stations A, B, C, D and E taken in anticlockwise order in the form of a regular pentagon. If the four bearing of AB is 30 degree, find the four bearing and back bearing of other sides. As per the question, the pentagon is running in the anticlockwise order. We can easily find the increase of four bearing per station. There are totally five stations. So we have to divide 360 by 5. When we do that, we will get 72 degree. The four bearing of AB is given as 30 degree. We have to find the rest of the four bearings. In the anticlockwise regular pentagons, the formula to find the four bearing of the next line is four bearing minus 72 degree. Suppose if we get the answer as negative, we have to add 360 degree. Using this formula, let us find the four bearing for BC. 30 degree minus 72 degree, we will get the four bearing of BC, but we have got a negative value. We know that when we get a negative value, we have to add 360 degree. When we add 360 degree with this, we will get 318 degree. Now let us find the four bearing of CED. 318 degree minus 72 degree, we will get the four bearing of CED, which is 246 degree. Now let us find the four bearing of DE. 246 degree minus 72 degree, we will get the four bearing of DE, which is 174 degree. Let us find the four bearing of EA, 174 degree minus 72 degree, we will get 102 degree. Now let us apply a check. We know the four bearing of AB, 30 degree. Using this angle, let us find that again. 102 degree minus 72 degree, we will get 30 degree. We have got the same value. Hence, okay. We have found all of the four bearings. Now let us find the back bearings. Using the formula, we can find the back bearings. The formula is 4 bearing plus or minus 190. If the 4 bearing is less than 190, we have to use the positive sign. If the 4 bearing is more than 190, we have to use negative sign. These 3 bearings are less than 190. So with them, we have to add 190. When we do that, we will get the back bearings. These 2 readings are more than 190. So from them we have to subtract 190. When we do that we will get the back bearings. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.